So today our destination is the beautiful Sukau Rainforest Lodge. So just now we just finished our drive, two hour drive, and now we're gonna have a 10 minute boat ride to the place. Let's go. The current lodge manager, Suhaili Kar, explained to us the rules of the lodge. The lodge staffs will update the schedule on the board of activities daily. There is also a list of possible animal sightings on certain times of day. Okay, so we finally got our room keys and we're now going into our room. We are room Villa 14. We are advised to keep our balcony door locked when we aren't in the room to prevent animals from sneaking in as there are wild animals roaming around. <laughs> so this is the spot where guests have seen monkey and also the orangutan and we have a resident orangutan a mother and a son a lucky and day so because it's a lucky day for them if they see them one of the new renovations of the place is this rainforest bar with a pool for guests to lounge and relax under the sun The Gecko Lounge is available for guests who just wants to relax and enjoy some local board games. There is also a souvenir shop with plenty of local products to choose from. So, around 4 p.m., we're called for our next activity, which is the river cruise. There's three in a day, the morning, afternoon, and night cruise. The view is amazing, and there are plenty of animal sightings throughout the cruise. So Hailey, our tour guide, explains some interesting facts throughout the cruise, which is very eye-opening. Here's a glimpse of just some of the animals we spotted during our whole trip. Stockbill Kingfisher, the proboscis monkey, the buffy fish owl, the saltwater crocodile, green crested lizard, white egret, a juvenile oriental pie hornbill, Borneo pygmy elephant, one of the most anticipated sightings are the pygmy elephants. During our morning cruise, we were extremely lucky to catch one of the elephants crossing the river. So 
it's day two and we are on the Hornville Boardwalk. We're doing our nature walk. However, they don't advise you to walk in this way because of the dangers of the falling branches. So, but here we are. Another activity that is available is the ATOP for guests to know more about our fellow orangutans. This is just one of the games you can enjoy in the Gecko Lounge if you have time to spare. It's finally dinner time. The lodge provides sarong for guests to use during dinner time. Just a little fun way to experience the culture of the village. The staffs will update a blackboard on the menu they'll be serving and will even state if the food is vegetarian, vegan, or gluten-free. The last activity of the day is the night cruise. During the night cruise, we found a herd of pygmy elephants by the riverbanks behind some trees, but we could only see a glimpse of them. The boatman said there was an estimation of 15 to 20 of them there. So we actually got this t-shirt as a gift from Mr. Theo and now we match! So that's the boat we're gonna go on uh, at 9 o'clock. Probably that boat, I'm pretty sure it's that. So we're gonna use a boat ride 2 hours to Sandakan where we'll have our lunch and then we'll Bye I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the staffs of Sugaran First Lodge and also Erika from Borneo Eco Tours for taking care of us during our whole trip. <laughs>